Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing about one of the most prominent scope of pharmacy in United States of America. Today we will discuss how to get registered as a pharmacist in United States of America and practice in various community as well as clinical setup. There are four different steps. To get registered as a pharmacist in US. Step number one is to obtain FPGEC certification where FPGEC stands for Foreign Pharmacy Graduates Equivalency Committee certification. Step number two is to conduct and perform 1500 hours of internship. Step number three is to appear for the NAPLEX examination where NAPLEX stands for North American Pharmacy Licensure Examination. Step number four is to appear for MPJE or CPJE examination, where MPJE stands for Multi State Pharmacy Jurisprudence Examination and CPJE stands for California Pharmacy Jurisprudence Examination. After completion of these four steps, pharmacy graduates can apply to state an authority or provincial authority to get license and practice as a registered pharmacist in US. Let's discuss the step by step procedure to get registered as a pharmacist in US in detail. Now step number one is to get FPGEC certification which stands for Foreign Pharmacy Graduate Equivalency Committee certification. This certification is mandatory to get for all pharmacy graduates who have obtained their pharmacy degree outside United States of America. One important disclosure over here is in United States of America, pharmacy education is minimum of five years. So those who have completed their pharmacy education or degree of five years or more, they are only eligible for this certification. B farm candidates who have completed that B farm, which is of a four year duration in India are not eligible for this examination. Either they have to complete two years of master of pharmacy course and then only they are eligible to get this certification. PharmD graduates can directly eligible to get this certification because the PharmD course duration is of six hour, which is fulfilling the criteria of United States of America pharmacy education. Now in order to get this certification, first of all candidate has to register themselves on NABP portal which is stands for National Association of Board Pharmacy. After registering themselves onto this portal, e-profile will be generated. After generating e-profile, they will give profile ID which will be the identification number for the candidate when the documents will be sent from their particular nation. Step number two is to assess academic credential evaluated by the ECE, Educational Credential Evaluators. NABP recommends ECE only to get evaluation of the academic degrees as well as official transcript. In this step, what candidate has to do is candidate has to submit all the official transcript of their education along with the translation certificate if the degree is in the regional language and to pay evaluation fee. This step should be completed in order to get their academic credential done. Most important point over here is this all document need to be sent via officials which is college or university directly to the ECE examination or evaluating authority. And this document should be properly sealed, signed and stamped. Any tampered document will not be considered for the evaluation by the ECE evaluating authority. Once the candidate academic credential evaluation is done, they will get ECE report. The second step is to qualify TOEFL examination. TOEFL IBT which stands for internet based testing is mandatory requirement to work or to practice as a pharmacist in United States of America and to prove English proficiency. This TOEFL is comprised of four models, reading, listening, writing, speaking and the score is given out of 30. In order to qualify, a candidate must obtain 
22 marks in out of 30 in reading 21 out of 30 in listening 24 out of 30 in writing 26 out of 30 in speaking if candidate get this score then the toefl will give a toefl score which need to be submitted along with the academic credential for the evaluation of this documents whether it is appropriate or not so in order to appear for the final examination that is fpgee examination which stands for foreign pharmacy graduate equivalency examination this steps need to be completed now in order to get this uh, in order to appear for this examination candidate has to send several uh, documents along with ec report and toefl score card they also need to stand attested application form notarized photo id and unrestricted permanent license from their particular province or state now what is this unrestricted permanent license say for example if a candidate has completed farm d in gujarat which is a state in india in gujarat after obtaining the farm d degree candidate has to register to gujarat state pharmacy council along with the degree to get the license from gujarat state pharmacy council upon submission of this license back to the gujarat state pharmacy council because now candidate is moving from india to united states of america gujarat state pharmacy council will generate good standing certificate and this good standing certificate along with ece report toefl uh, score and notarized photo id and attested copy of application for fpgee examination need to be submitted on nabp portal for the evaluation this evaluation will be of a two years of duration so within this two years candidate has to produce all this valid documents to the authority once the authority validate this document authority will notify on nabp e profile of a candidate to appear for the fpgee examination from the date of notification after completion of this documentary evaluation candidate have 2 years to complete this fpgee examination talking about this examination fpgee examination is comprised of 200 questions and there are four main domain from where the questions will be asked that is biomedical domain clinical domain social behavioral administrative domain and pharmaceutical domain the syllabus is given at the end of this video for the information this examination is 5.5 hours long examination where examination actual examination is of 4.5 hours and 1 hour is for the completion of the formalities like signing the non disclosure agreement complete the post examination survey and reading the instruction how to answer for the questions which will be asked during this examination candidate this examination is conducted once in a year so candidate have two chance to complete this examination those candidate who fails to clear fpgee examination in two consecutive attempt need to repeat the same procedure again starting from the ece evaluation and toefl uh, passing score which is required to appear for the fpgee examination once this examination is qualified fpgec certificate is given by the national association of board pharmacy to a candidate this certificate does not indicate that a candidate can practice as a pharmacist in united states of america it is just an equivalency certificate which shows that candidate pharmacy education who have obtained the degree outside the united states of america is equivalent to those candidate who have obtained the degree from united states of america now the candidate has to go for the step number 2 step number 2 is a internship internship of 1500 hours in a community as well as clinical setup is mandatory in order to get eligible for the naplex examination now foreign pharmacy graduates need working visa in order to conduct this internship and to get this internship done they need to apply for the interim license after getting interim license based on the fpgec certificate candidate can perform 1500 hours of internship in the specific province 
where they wanted to register as a pharmacist. This 1500 hour internship will vary province to province but on an average 1500 hours of internship is mandatory. Visitor visa and tourist visa will not be eligible as internship is considered as a work in United States of America. So as I mentioned working visa, valid working visa is very mandatory to complete this internship. After successful completion of 1500 hours of internship, candidate is eligible for the NAPLEX examination which is step number 3. Now in step number 3, NAPLEX examination need to be cleared by the candidate where NAPLEX stands for North American Pharmacy Licensure Examination. On NABP portal where candidate has created e-profile, they can opt for the NAPLEX examination via that portal only. NAPLEX examination is comprised of 225 questions. From that, 200 questions will be evaluated and 25 questions is for pre-testing. But candidate cannot identify what are those 25 questions. So, you candidate has to appear for the 225 questions in order to pass this examination. Now, this examination is 6 hour long examination where clinical based as well as case study based question will be asked. So the PharmD graduates has an upper hand to clear this examination as the syllabus of PharmD is designed in such a way where case based studies and case based evaluation will be taught so that they can easily clear this examination. NAPLEX examination syllabus is given at the end of this video. So candidate who wish to appear for the NAPLEX examination can look at the syllabus and can get an idea what kind of preparation they have to do. NAPLEX examination is having maximum 5 attempts and the waiting period for 2 consecutive attempts is of 45 days. So if candidate has appeared for the NAPLEX examination and if he fails, he or she fails to clear this exam, he or she has to wait for 45 days to re-attempt for the NAPLEX examination. As well as in a one year a candidate can appear for maximum of three times. After one year candidate has two more attempt to clear the NAPLEX examination. If candidate is failing to do so, candidate has to appear for the whole process again and can appear for the NAPLEX examination after completion of step number one as well as step number two. This NAPLEX examination is very much mandatory to clear in order to get registered as a pharmacist in United States of America. The application fee for this exam is $100 and the examination fee for this exam is $475. Those who are having US Armed Force background, they will entitle to get certain discount in this examination fee and sometimes the examination fee will be waived off for the US Armed Force officials or their spouses. While opting for the NAPLEX examination, candidate can select multiple provinces where NAPLEX will send the result. Actually, NAPLEX examination authority is giving a freedom to transfer the score of NAPLEX to more than one province. So while a candidate is opting for the NAPLEX examination, candidate has to choose for which province they are appearing for the NAPLEX. If candidate chooses one state, then the NAPLEX result will be sent to that particular province. But if candidate wish to register in a simultaneously two or more state, then candidate has to opt for the score which need to be sent to more than one province. And this need to be informed to the NABP portal or the authority in advance and the timeline to opt for the score of NAPLEX which need to be sent to the more than one province is 89 days. So after completion of NAPLEX exam, within the 89 days a candidate has to select to which province the NAPLEX score need to be sent. This will help a candidate to save time if candidate fails to clear the jurisprudence exam of a specific province and wish to register as a pharmacist in another province. This score transfer via NAPLEX is chargeable. So if candidate wish to transfer the score to more than one province, then the candidate has to pay province wise charge to the authority. Now after clearing the NAPLEX, candidate has to appear for the jurisprudence exam. So discussing about step number four, that is MPJE or CPJE examination. 
so if candidate clear the naplex examination jurisprudence examination which is talking about the law and regulation of a specific province to practice as a pharmacist need to be clear in order to practice and obtain the license from the state authority mpje exam stands for multi state pharmacy jurisprudence examination and cpje stands for california pharmacy jurisprudence examination so apart from california if a candidate wish to register in any province of united states of america they need to appear for mpje examination this mpje examination is comprised of 120 questions amongst which 100 question will be evaluated to give the pass or fail result and 20 questions will be of pre testing question this examination is of 2.5 hour long and there is no shed, uh, scheduled break is given however candidate can take a break but no additional time is given to complete this examination again candidate have maximum 5 attempt to clear mpj examination whereas the waiting period over here is 30 days whereas in naplex the waiting period was 45 days here if candidate fails on the first attempt after 30 days itself candidate can reappear for this mpje examination mpje examination syllabus is also given at the end of this video so candidate can have a look to prepare for this examination for california pharmacy jurisprudence examination there are only 90 questions asked all multiple choice based question if candidates clear this examination candidates can obtain license from the california province and work as a pharmacist in california this is about jurisprudence exam the examination application fee for this exam is same 100 dollar whereas the examination fee for this exam is 150 dollar after completion of the successful completion of this examination candidate can ask state authority to issue the license and after issuing the license candidate can work as a registered pharmacist in any pharmacy store in united states of america thank you for watching this video i hope you have understand how to get registered in united states of america if you have any query to understand this process you can write in the comment box and we will happy to respond your query and you can also connect to us by our social media handles and you can write to our email address as well thank you for watching i hope this video will help to get registered as a pharmacist in us Thank you so much keep watching keep learning keep going